I'm going to a place in this video that maybe I shouldn't, but I am anyway, because I'm good at that, right? I want to talk about feminine energy. The spirituality of feminine energy. I've been involved in the Radical Fairies since the mid-90s. And there is definitely a heavy spiritual uh, uh, element, say side, what's the right word, element to the Radical Fairies. And there are some of why I had even joined the Radical Fairies was to try to understand femininity. Because I've never really quite gotten it. I've never gotten how it can be put so much up on a pedestal. And I still don't really get it. Um... But in, in the Radical Fairies, there's this element where they talk about the nurturing side of feminine energy and Mother Earth and Goddess and all that stuff. And I understand why women might want to embrace that sort of thing. But guys, I don't really get that. I mean, if you're if you're having to go with some sort of a spiritual thing, then shouldn't guys have some sort of male energy thing going on? And in my experience, which may not be very accurate, even though I've been involved in the fairies for quite a while, but only in the Northwest, um, male energy seems to be represented as a dick. A dick and balls. Feminine energy, feminine energy, dick and balls. And it's always, it, it's, it's bothered me. It's bothered me for a long time, and I've never talked about it. But that has always bothered me. And when it was brought up by John the Other and Feminism LOL and a number of others that a lot of feminism is based around this idea of feminine energy and this, this, this sort of a, almost a worship of feminine energy, it really, it was really an eye opener for me. And Why are these traits of being uh, nurturing and all that, why is that associated with femininity? Why isn't that associated with masculinity? What's up with that? I mean, some of the most masculine guys I've known have actually been very nurturing. So it confuses me, this notion. And maybe there's a, there's a hint of gynocentrism in this. I'm not sure. And I can read up on the history of, of these, of different spiritual views, but none of those things give me an answer on this. You know, they just give me the history of things. The history doesn't actually explain... That doesn't really explain this stuff. Um, 
I mean, that's like that's like saying that the history of human psychology and the history of the study of human psychology explains human psychology, explains some of the things that haven't yet been explained in human psychology. You know, you can study you can study till you're give give some sort of a a, a phrase for that uh, until your face is blue or whatever you know. Uh, study to, to your heart's content and you're still not going to get those kinds of answers. And it reminds me of trying to find out why liberal values have been put, have been, why it's been called the left and why the conservative values have been called the right. I mean, you can see that those things were chosen, but why were those things chosen? Why is it that way? And... So this is kind of a similar thing to that, you know? Um... So there is a lot of this, besides in the radical fairies, there is, there has been a lot of elements of gay men who are spiritual celebrating the feminine energy of things. Um, and that's always been weird to me. And why is men's energy just represented as a dick? Why is it represented as sex? Why is this? It bothers me. It bothers me a lot. I find it degrading. I find it really degrading. Now, the main reason why I originally started making this video and then it just sort of changed as, as I was making it is anyone who claims that women should embrace that whole feminine energy and embrace the the everything that it is to be feminine that's what women should embrace but you don't think guys should embrace masculine energy and things that are masculine what does that make you i mean to me it's kind of hypocritical Women get to have this whole large array of things in, in, in those areas. And then guys, well, you know, well, you should want to worship this too here. You know, it, it just seems like a, a gynocentrism sort of thing. But it's not, it's not vagina, vagina, vagina. That's, that's not it. It's, it's, it's. It's like a philosophy. It's like, it's, I guess it could be an ideology. Um, it's a spiritual view. And I don't think it's fair that, God, my wording is gone. Women get to have the sole propriety of that. Or feminine, it, or not just women, but femininity gets to have the sole proprietor, propriety of that sort of thing. Um, I think it's odd. Now, some of you may be going, "Well, what about Christianity and the the biblical God and all that?" And it's like, well, that's a that's this judgmental asshole. The God of the Bible is an asshole. <laughs> I mean. 
just he's an act. He's an asshole. He's a prick. He's a controlling prick. And I don't really find that on the the, the the goddess spirituality type of thing. You don't find that. The goddess isn't a prick. At least in the way that it normally gets described. And of course, this is all talking about spiritual stuff, stuff that isn't really... There's nothing concrete about any of it. There's no definitive things about any of it. There's no real facts, no real logic behind it. Well, I suppose there could be a logic behind it. But it's certainly not fact-based. And it's certainly not something that we can... truly apply to reality. It's the spiritual world. So... I don't know if I'm really going anywhere in this video. I, I hope... I've tried to ask some questions in this, but I don't know if they make sense. So...